Hi everybody and welcome back to another video of another old school car audio amplifier. This time I have a Blaupunkt GTA 400 on the bench and the power ratings you see here printed on the amplifier's heatsink are completely joke. I think these ratings are maximum power, that means they used maximum voltage to calculate the power. I I really don't know when this amplifier came out. First I thought it's from 1997 when the first Grand Theft Auto came out, but I'm wrong. Um, I guess this amplifier is from the early 2000s. Here we have uh, the power connections, two fuses, 25 amps each. You can see the speaker terminals and the bridging terminals. Of course, the outer terminals for bridging mode. And here are some screws missing, but no problem for the dyno because I test the amplifier in bridged mode to get all four channels driven into full power. Here on the other side, you have some crossover adjustment knobs and two LEDs. The green LED on the right side is a power indicator and the red LED on the left side is a protection indicator. And here on the left side for the fronts, for example, you have an adjustable low path filter. And you can set the switch to the center position. Then you have a flat frequency response Turn it to the left, you have a high pass filter fixed of 100 Hertz. And if you switch it to the right, you have an adjustable low pass filter. And there is a bass boost knob, 0 dB, plus 9 dB or plus 18 dB. But the manufacturer didn't tell us at which frequency. You have a gain knob where you can adjust the amplifier sensitivity to 0.1 to 8 volts. Let's start the dyno. I connected a uh, 8 ohm load bridged mono to the front and a 8 ohm load bridged mono to the rear. So with this test I am testing for 4 ohms per channel, all 4 channels driven into full power. Continuous power test with 1 kHz, all 4 channels driven into full power. Too much, capture this one. I have a peak voltage of 41.6 volts. With 41.6 volts, I measured an output power of 55.5 watts into a 4 ohm load, all 4 channels driven. Let's have a look how many amps the amplifier is pulling out of the power supply. I got 26.8 amps. I calculated an efficiency of 60.5%. Continuous power test, but this time with a 50 Hz input signal. Oh, way too much. I try to fine adjust it. But we go into rail voltage sagging. That looks nice. Thirty nine point two volts with a fifty hertz input signal. I have measured an output power of around forty nine watts per channel into form load, all four channels driven into full power. Two ohms per channel, that means I have connected a four ohm bridged mono load to the front and also a four ohm mono load to the rears. That means all channels are driven into full power. And let's start with 1 kHz continuous power. That's okay. And I got a peak voltage off. 34.4 volts. With 34.4 volts, the amplifier delivers bridged mono 4 ohms, 151 watts. That means 75.5 watts into a 2 ohm load per channel, all 4 channels driven. Forty point nine amps. I calculated an efficiency of 53.9%. And now I'm testing continuous power into 2 ohms per channel, all 4 channels driven into full power with a 50 Hz input signal. Clipping. This looks good. 
and we have a peak voltage of 31.2 volts. With 31.2 volts, the power goes a little bit down. It goes down to 124.5 watts, and that's around 62 watts of continuous power into all four channels into a 2 ohm load. Testing dynamic power 1 kilohertz, 20 cycles. And we have on the top also 34.0, 34.4 volts, so there's no increase. Also with 8 cycles it goes into clip and has a peak voltage of around 34 volts, so no dynamic headroom. I'm going to test with just one cycle. I increase my input signal. Looks a little bit weird, but it goes higher in voltage. So there's clipping. I stop until the clip disappears on the negative waveform. Let's just take this where you just for fun. What do we have here? Okay, the peak voltage is 36.8 volts. That's the maximum. Just for fun, I calculate with 36.8 volts for just one millisecond. We have 173 watts bridged mono 4 ohms. That means we have around 86.5 watts per channel into a 2 ohm load. Let's have a look at the dyno results. Thank you very much for watching, if you like this video of this old school amplifier tell your friends and if you know more detailed information about this amplifier let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching, see you next time for the next video, bye bye.